basket to one of the uh, Hajiya who's registered with Imam Hussein Charity. Assalamu alaikum Hajiya. These orphans need your help and require your assistance. Don't let any of these orphans go hungry this Ramadan. Please donate. Your donation can provide a source of nourishment for those who do not have access to food. These orphans need your help and require your assistance. Don't let any of these orphans go hungry this Ramadan. Please donate. Don't let this be the end. Keep the hope alive. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> alaikum assalam. Shunu ismaik. His name is Fadl. And I think Fadl is like three years old. He's one of the orphans in the orphanage. Hassan is eight years of age and only mom is here. Hassan, Baba when? Baba? No. Baba Mahu. May you choose to Baba? Kahra. Laila Halala. Bill is a stack in the Baba? She gets a stack in the Baba, have you? Why are you scared? I'm getting on it. Shinoi for a hedge never. El Hedaya, Bashri for a hedge. Jamma. Jamma. You get for a tishway or why? Oh, why? Scared of why? Rawani be this get. Allah, 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 Allah. Uh, he is really happy to see you, he says. Eh. Her response is that I have nothing else for me to choose from. There's nothing else for me to pick from. So this is the only thing that I can love and appreciate and have. What do you like to say when you are Captain Ali? Captain Ali. Please donate now at Imam Hussein Charity Foundation. Habibi, Ashati Dick, thank you. Those among you who believe and give will have a great reward. <laughs> You are now on Imam Hussein TV3 watching Seven Steps to Heaven. The best quiz show ever made by mankind. Your words, not mine. I'll carry on eating your sandwich. Don't look at me like that. Please. Carry on eating. It's fine. Don't need to be shy that this is the best quiz show. 
Of course, I'm Yasser Hilfi on your screen, and joining me is the great, the wonderful, the Arab, African, European, South American, everything combined, the Nurani, Mullah Rashid Haidar. Assalamu alaikum, Mullah. Wa alaikum, assalamu wa rahmatullahi. How are you, Mullah? Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Yeah, just, just be careful of the, yeah. the microphone. Eh? Yeah, mashallah. Well, because you said iftar is up to here, let me ask you my favorite question. What did you have for iftar today? Mashallah. It's okay. So, um, technical issues going on. So if we can, sh make me and Mullah Rashid disappear. Is that possible? Make us disappear. No, no, no. Now, walk off. Walk off. Yeah. Go. Go there. That's fine. I can do it. Brothers and sisters, Um Haider has lung infection as well as asthma. The doctors have said to her that more than 70% of her lungs have been infected. So only 30% of the lungs are working and day by day, a bigger percentage of her lungs are not working. And she's given me a report and prescription of the doctors for her medication, however, she has still not taken this to the pharmacy because she cannot afford to buy the medication. And from hearing you guys yourselves, hey, shout. Give the gift of hope. Charity begins with a single act of kindness. Donate today. Welcome back to Mount Saint TV3. We took a short break, not because we had any issues, but we wanted to motivate you mm. to donate to Mount Saint Charity, the best charity in the world, because we help orphans around the world, especially the orphans in Iraq, the orphans in Afghanistan, all around the world, because indeed helping an orphan in Shahar Ramadan is one of the most recommended acts. Well, moving on from that, of course, I was with Mullah Rashid. Yes. I, just to carry on the flow. Yes. You said that iftar is reached here. And yes. You made a very nice sound that I would like to hear again. Huh. <coughs> yes. There very, you go. <laughs> to hear. So, so because of that, I wanted to ask Mullah, what yes. was your iftar today? Um, so today my iftar was uh, quite a big mix. Oh. So it was like a, I was invited somewhere. Hmm. And it was like a really big buffet. Pasta, yes. rice, yes. chicken, stew, Seems like fish. You were invited to a Somali friend? No, not Somali no, friend. No, 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 no. Not, not to be racist, but no. I, I got I get invited to my Somali friend's house. Yes, and he gives me. You pasta. know a few words in Somali, don't you? In Somali, huh? <laughs> I can't say on TV. <laughs> so, so, he gives me pasta, <laughs> rice, chicken, lamb. Yes, it's beautiful. And you can't forget the main ingredient: banana. Bananas. Not cooked bananas. No, no, we're not Jamaicans. Yes. It is <laughs> raw bananas yeah, yeah. and it's beautiful. But when well was the last time you've had it? Do you actually like it or are you just saying? I, I'm being honest, yeah? 100%. You're not lying. Wallah al -azim. Yeah. When I got invited to that friend's house, yeah. the last time, I don't yeah. know when it was, when I had that spaghetti and that chicken and lamb, yeah. and then I had to take a bite of that banana. Yes. Normally they cut it up, but this time I went raw. Yeah, yeah. Peel. Yes. That was the best combustion in my mouth I've yes. ever had. A lot of people life. think it's very weird, but trust me, when you try it, Every then food you know. sounds weird, to be honest then with you. you know. Every no, food sounds weird. Rice, who the hell does it? No, honestly. But until it's you beautiful. do it, then you'll understand. What but you have to cook the rice the Somali <laughs> way. I, honestly, I have yeah, to be I, honest with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ali Medad. Yeah, yeah. Well done to the Somalis. I must say, your cuisine <laughs> is extravagant. My Somali friend, if you're watching this, invite me. Yeah, Why yeah. are you being so stingy for? And don't forget me, too. Yeah, plus one. Me that I Come on. Please. Plus one. <laughs> Anyways, to move on from that uh -huh. horrible topic of not getting invited by our friends hey. because we have no true friends except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Mullah Rashid, yes. and I want to ask, um, you know, last yesterday you yeah. left us early. Yes. Unfortunately. Nice. Straight yeah. drawing yeah, out. I okay. have to. Yeah. I have to. Okay. For all the viewers that didn't watch yesterday, <laughs> Mullah Rashid <laughs> left us yesterday. And shall I tell you what happened yesterday? What happened? At the start of every show, I told the viewers that we have no lights in yes. the studio because you bring the noor, the light. Okay. When you left, yeah. we actually got contacted by our electricity bill yes. company. Uh -huh. And they said, what the hell was happening? Why are you using so much lights? <laughs> because I was alone. I needed lights on me because there was no noor anymore. <laughs> and then guess what? Huh. People stopped calling in. Really? They were like, wait, I'm calling in to talk to Yasser. Who's Yasser? What's this <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> I, I called to speak to Mullah Rashid only. You don't believe me, bro. You don't believe me. <laughs> Honestly. He's too good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> get married ASAP. Wow. 
that, that went left, to be honest with you. Why? Yeah, that went very left. Why? To move on swiftly. Uh -huh. Seven steps to heaven. What's it about, Mullah? Explain to the viewers. Seven oh, steps to heaven. Never mind. Uh, okay. Never mind. Yep, sorry. Please sorry. explain this sorry. to the viewer. Yeah, yeah. Assalamu alaikum. They call in your name and where you're calling from. Uh, my name is Shaheen Fatima and I'm calling from Toronto, Canada. Masha Allah, sister calling in all the way from Toronto. I like to call people calling in from Toronto. You are a Torontorian, Masha Allah. Torontonian. Torontonian, yes. yes. Because they're Torontonies. If you, yes, yes, yeah. Masha Allah. The heart of Canada, the London of Canada, if I can say. Sister, I'm so sorry, but can you just repeat your name? Because there was a uh, quite little sound issue. So if you can just repeat your name, please. Sure, Shaheen Fatima. Masha Allah, Sister Shaheen Fatima. Sister Shaheen, before I go on and uh, take you straight into seven steps, I want to ask the most important question. Essentially, this is the eighth step for you to go to heaven, which is, have you had iftar yet? No, it's not iftar time yet in oh Toronto. Oh my God, oh my God, may Allah help you. Honestly, my, my du'as are with you. How I much longer do you have left? About uh, 10 minutes. Oh okay. oh, okay. So guess what? To make your iftar just so much better, inshallah you win the seven steps inshallah. so that you can eat knowing that you have a chance to eat in Karbala next to Mawla Hussein. Oh my God. <laughs> ya Ali Haqqa. <laughs> sister Shah, inshallah. inshallah. With that being said, sister, I'm going to ask you your first question, inshallah. May Allah, his prophet and his wali be with you. And your first question is, Sister Shahin, Muhammad ibn Uthman al-Amr was the second deputy of Imam al-Mahdi. Is that true or false? Yes, it is. Is that true or false? Wow, I must say, Sister Shahin, this is a very hard question for someone that has not studied, maybe. It's not, it's not for the bank. Yeah. So Imam Mehdi had four, or, uh, four deputies or three deputies <coughs> before he went to his major occupation. What's the second one, Muhammad ibn Uthman al amr You have 10 seconds to give me an answer. You might have to try your luck. First, I think the first was Uthman and then... The sister, I'm going to tell you something, Indian sister. Group. Sister, I'm going to tell you sure. something. I'm going to tell you something. Your time ran out. But because it's such a hard question, oh, okay. I feel sad because you're fasting. The answer's true. Just tell me it's true, please. <laughs> tell me it's true. It's true. Oh my Allah! God, you are correct! <laughs> MashaAllah! <laughs> The connection you have with Imam Mahdi is beautiful, sister. <laughs> MashaAllah. I told you the Torontonians are Tor the best. Torontonians <laughs> are the best. <laughs> well, I should take it away. Right, <laughs> we're going to go straight to the second question. Second question while we go through why the salam, which is? The biggest cemetery in the world. I was going to say the biggest Shia cemetery, but it's actually the biggest cemetery in the world. In the world. Subhanallah. 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 Allahu Akbar. Right. Sister Shaheen, your second question is When did the Prophet migrate to Medina, mm. known as Hijra? Was it the first of Rabi'ul Awwal, the first of Muharram, Oof. the first of Dhul Hijjah, Mashallah. or the first of Ramadan? MashaAllah. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, let's help Sister Shaheen. Yes. AV team, let's remove one of the options, please. Sister, we have removed option number three. So now you have one, two, and four. First of Rabi' al-Awwal, first of Muharram, and first of Shahar Ramadan. When did the Prophet migrate to Medina? Mullah Rashid, do you know the answer to this one? Oh, really? Yes, yes. yes. Um, sister, just to help you out, it's a month that has passed. Two seconds, one second. It's a month, it's a month that has passed of this year? Yeah, of this year, since Muharram. You have five seconds. Oh, okay. Four, three. That's a very big guess. Come on, sister. So I think I think two. the first of one. Rabi al Awal. First of Rabi al Awal. Let's lock that in and see if you're correct. <coughs> sister Shahin, I must say something to you. I, I have to be fair. For Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the all just. One of the rules we have mm -hmm. at Seven Steps to Heaven is that you have to give us the answer before the 30 second time has gone. I've helped oh, okay. you okay. because I love the Torontonis. But for the upcoming okay. questions, please can you give sure. me your answer before the 30 seconds is up? 
Okay, so the the uh, YouTube video is delayed. So will you let me know when I only have 10 seconds left? Of course, sister. Of course. I'll help okay, you out as you. much as I can. With this question, I'm going to wait for it to pop up on your screen because it is guess the place. Guess the shrine. Okay. And your four options are, is it the holy shrine of al Qadami? The holy shrine of Imam Hussein? The holy shrine of Imam Ali? Or the holy shrine of Al-Askariyin? Please let okay, me know so when it's on your screen. Up. Bismillah, 30 seconds has started on the okay. clock. Sister. It's Kazmi. MashaAllah. Kazmi, are you sure with 20 seconds left? Yes, I'm sure. You can lock it in. Oh, the Torontonis are not... Messing about. Not messing about at all. Let's lock that up. in, AV team. And indeed, Sister Shaheen, Fatima, Shia Tamir al Mu'minin, you are correct. Accent. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Right. Calling in all the way from the US of Canada. Allah May Allah bless. <laughs> we don't have states in Canada. We have provinces. So oh. it can't be United States of Canada, ah. unfortunately. Sister, can you just make it pass? <laughs> I've helped you out three times. Help me out once. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, Toronto. <laughs> well, I should take it away. Right. The next question, Sister Shaheen, is When did the Prophet arrive in the city of Medina? during mm. his migration known as Hijra. Mm. Was it the 12th of Muharram, mm. the 12th of Dhul Hijjah, the 12th of Rabi al Awwal, <clears throat> or the 12th of Ramadan? MashaAllah. <clears throat> Your 30 seconds begin now. Sister, just remember when Rasulullah left, try to calculate the way. Yeah, yeah. Think um, I'm thinking 12th of Rabi al Awwal. Okay, okay. I can't, I can't deny or confirm that. You just have to go with your because we we said he left on the first, right? Mm. Yes. So I'm gonna confirm that answer. Okay. Well, uh, AV team, let's confirm that for Sister Shahin Fatima. You know them ones. You just got a bit scared. I doubted myself. That, that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like when you asked me here, what's two plus two? I'm like, ah, eight, <laughs> eight. <laughs> Sister Shahin, just like Mullah Rashid, you are correct. <laughs> 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 it was the top of Rabi Al Awal. With that being said, I now take you to your fifth step, which is at a mokib, which inshallah you will walk past when you get to Karbala from Najaf to Jannah, i.e. Karbala. This is guess the word. So again, I'm going to wait for it to pop up on your screen. And inshallah, you can give me the word. AV team, can we give her one of the letters, please? Yeah, so it has popped up. Okay, so I'm going to start the 30 seconds. And I would like to let you know that okay. the letter I is in the third position. Okay, uh, it is Zainab. Allahu Akbar takbira al ihram. Indeed, I will confirm that it was the name of the holy daughter of Amir al Mu'mineen. Sayyidah Zainab, salamullah alayha. MashaAllah, we have Shahin Fatima, the mother, and we have Zainab, the daughter. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah, Allah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Lihadar haqqa. Where does the haqqa come from? Take it away. Right. <laughs> Let's go to the sixth question. Sister Shine, by the way, you're very close. This is your second to last question, and then you win. So, inshallah, it's going to be a killer iftar today, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah. Right. The sixth question is for how many years did the Prophet reside in Medina following the announcement of his prophethood? Was Oof. it nine years? Was it 10 years? Mm. Was it 11 years? Or was it eight years? I said. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, let's be nice to Sister Shahin yes, Fatima. Yes, AV team, please remove four. <laughs> AV team, let's remove one. <laughs> Just one, please. Thank you. Tell me. Right, so option option number four is gone. You have now option one, two, and three remaining, Sister Shahin. You have about 10 seconds left, by the way. Sister, I believe in so, you. Um, if you know the, the year that Rasulullah unfortunately died and left this world, I think you can know the answer. You have five seconds? I think it's 11 years. 11 oh, just years. in time! AV team that's lucky in 11 years! <laughs> he, it's, it's, he died 11? No? Nah. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sure. I'm very, very sure about this one. AV team, I need someone to talk in my ear, please. AV team, AV team. 
I, I am going to check right now. Thawani, Thawani. Uh, it is, from what? From what I can see, Alamat Mektubi Daesh. Alamat Mektubi Daesh. Right. Right. Mektubi uh, Daesh. Just give us one second, sister. Give us Shahin. one second, sister. One Shahin. sister. One yeah, second. No worries. It's a, trust me, the iftar is going to be worth it. The iftar is going to be very <laughs> worth it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to play a quick filler on the TV. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Shahin, can you hear me, Sister Shahin? Yes, I can, yes. Sister Shahin, I'm going to tell you something. It's coming from the bottom of my uh, round-shaped heart because my heart is different. Okay. It's, not, it's not of the... Whatever this is. It's not standard. So, yeah, it's not standard. It's not a standard issue. I'm unique. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm unique. Yeah, self-love is important. Sister Shahin, we, we are unsure about this answer. Why? Because some people are saying it's 11 and some people are saying it's 10. So because we okay. are unsure, I'm going to let you go to the seventh step, inshallah. Hey. To all the viewers that are saying oh, it's 10. Oh, thank you. Of course, Sister Shahin. You have the love of Amir al Mu'minin in your hearts. You are my sister. I would love to help you. And on top of all of that, you are Torontorian. <laughs> <laughs> with that being said, to all the viewers, if you're saying it's 10 or you're saying it's 11, we are not disagreeing with you. We just have a difference of, difference of opinion. We are sorry. Don't fight me, please. I'm just the presenter. Mullah Rashid is a reciter. We are not <laughs> scholars. <laughs> sister Shahin. With this last one, an uh, image is going to pop up on your screen. And it's like solving a, pu a, a puzzle. It's six images that you need to put in the correct order. So you are going to have one minute to answer. And well, uh, the AV team will give you a clue by putting D at the position of one. So D1. Please let me know when the image pops up on your screen. Yeah, so it is on my screen. Bismillah, one minute on the clock. Sister Shahin. Let just to remind you, D is one. So I think you know where okay, B is. Okay. So now. D, so D is one. Yeah. B is six. B is six. Okay. Yeah. F five. F five. F five. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. Thirty seconds. C four. C four. Yeah. C four. Okay. A three. A3 and E2. E2. AV team, please do the honors by confirming if that is right or not. And. Hussein uh, Shaheed Karbala, O Mawla al Mu'mineen, Sister Shaheen Fatim. If you look at this. Awkward clap. Awkward clap. We've done an awkward clap for you, <laughs> Sister Shahin. But Sister Shahin, I have very good news for you. Two parts of a good, uh, good news. First is that if I am not mistaken, you are our first Torontorian to win to, to in this season. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, thank you. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you're the first Torontoni to win. So congratulations to you and your fellow Torontonis. <laughs> the second thing I would like to tell you, Sister Shahin, is that you will receive a ring made out of the marble of the shrine of Imam al Hussein, salamullah alayhi. As well as that, you will be put into a draw and you will have the chance of winning a free trip to Iraq to visit your masters buried there. But it doesn't end there, sister. If you look at your screen in a few seconds, you'll see something under me, that it's a banner that has the name of IHC, Imam Hussein Charity, and it says that if you scan the QR code, and donate an iftar pack. An iftar pack being that you would donate some food to an impoverished family that can't break their fast on their own means. We will put your name again into the draw. Now, Mullah Rashid, how does a raffle work? How do you win? Based on probability. Probability. Yes. So if your name is there more than anyone else's, 
you are have you, more of a chance to you win. You have more of a chance to win. Exactly. Sister, so, Sister Shahim, if you want to follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah and the Ahlul Bayt, and you want to donate in this Shahar, which is Shahar Ramadan, then you can donate and you will have a bigger chance of winning the trip to Iraq. So it's up to you. I just want to give you the glad tidings. Thank you so much for calling. Please pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the AV team. <laughs> and pray for your fellow Torontonis to inshallah win again. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you, so Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a good iftar. Ma salama. Mullah Rashid. Ahsan. First winner. Torontonis for the win. Torontonis for the win. For the rest of Allah. them. They'll <laughs> the United... <laughs> Province of Canada. The United Province of Canada. Yes, because they, she said there's provinces. Yeah, they don't have states, they have provinces. So oh, the same province. thing. Yeah. Same thing. We don't, yeah. We're called United Kingdom. We don't have kingdoms. Yeah. You get it? <laughs> we have, we have borough, uh, <laughs> boroughs. Boroughs? Boroughs? Yeah. Boroughs, yeah, yeah. Boroughs. Boroughs. So we're the United Boroughs, to exactly. be honest with you. United Boroughs. But Mullah Rashid, eight. please, are you happy that we have the first winner? I'm Alhamdulillah. Very happy that we have the first winner. Did it give you energy? That first winner. Oof. <laughs> I feel something coming. The first winner has not only enlightened my heart, Allah, but what it has done, it has allowed me to widen my spectrum. Masha Allah. In terms of that, I know that we have more winners. Yes. That are here. They are calling. And the second one is here. And you say to them, Assalamu alaikum, caller. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa alaikum assalam. Ya Allah. Ya Masha Allah. Allah. Masha Allah. They call your name and where you're calling from. Muhammad from London. Muhammad, Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad from London. Ya Rabbi al-Alamin. Muhammad, what area are you from in London? <laughs> Muhammad. Cricket. <what>? Muhammad, <laughs> what's your second name? <laughs> Al-Qasir. Al-Qasir. Oh. This is our friend Sayyid Muhammad Al-Qasir. We have a Sayyid. MashaAllah. Sayyidna, I just want to let you know if you win today, you'll be able to visit your grandfather buried in Najaf, buried in Karbala. Buried in Baghdad, Inshallah. in Samarra. Inshallah. Inshallah, Sayyid. Inshallah. Of course, our dear viewers, if you've been following Imam Hussain TV, you know the great brother, Sayyid Muhammad Qasir, who is only 12 years old or less or more? 14. 14, MashaAllah. You have so much nur that you seem younger than your real age. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah. Sayyid Muhammad, we're going to put you through straight to the first step. May Allah, Muhammad, who's your grandfather, Ali, who is your grandfather, be with you. Inshallah. Say ya jiddu. With that being said, Sayyidina, ya Allah, I ask you the, the first question, which is, it is allowed for a person in prayer to have a gold ring or a gold watch in their pocket. Is that true or false? It's false. It's false. You said that with a lot of conviction hey, in your heart. False. Are you sure? Yes. Well, Sayyidna, we're going to lock that in. And unfortunately, you have not passed today. That was incorrect. It's true. You're looking, it's false. Habibi Sayyidna. What? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I was joking with him. What? Uh, uh, oh. AV team? I thought. Even he's baffled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. AV team, what did I do? AV team, I repeat. If it's him, okay. Bismillah, Bismillah. Muhammad, what did you have for today? Yes. Wallah, that was an honest said, question. I, I thought it said man. You had what, sorry? Mullah Rashid. I ah. thought it said Say Sayyidah Muhammad, I'm going to have man. to disturb you, Sayyidah Muhammad. It seems like our directors here at Imam Hussain TV said that because the viewers love you, from the Shia Voice Season 2, and you're such a good lecturer, and on the path of the Ahlul Bayt, and because we helped the Torontonis last uh, uh, caller, we're going to help you and let you go straight into the second question, because we love you. But this thank is the you, last time you. we're helping you. Yeah. Say thank you, say yes, you, yes. you love us too. Thank you, I said thank you. You're Iraqi, you're Karbilai, I'm Alek. Shwee? Mullah Rashid, take it away. Wah! Right. <laughs> go, go, go. Now, every time he claps, Yasser looks at me like he's got a gun to my head. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway, so, Muhammad Qasir Sayyidna, the second question, and one that you should know, is yeah. who was the winner of season two of Shia Voice? 
was it Ali Haider? Was it Bakr Gori? Was it Mustafa Jum'a? Or was it Ali Al Zuhairi? Who was the winner of season two of the Shia? MashaAllah, four beautiful names. Ali Al Zuhairi. Ali Al. Are you sure? Yes, number two. You're positive. Oh, Sayyidna, I said I can't help you anymore. Oh. You keep getting them wrong. <laughs> Sayyidna. Yeah. <laughs> The, the, winner, the winner of season two was Sayyid Muhammad Al Qasir. Speak, Sayyidna. <laughs> Come on. Because you won our hearts. <laughs> Allah, Allah. Allah. Let's Allah look at Ali Al Zuhairi. And of course, you are right, Sayyidna. <laughs> it was Mullah Ali Zuhairi. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about now? I don't know. All right, let's let's, let's carry what on. What do you mean? You took All right. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> we take Sayyid Muhammad Qasir all the way from the Shia Voice Season One straight to Imam Hussein TV Studios at Pole One 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 Four because there are fourteen Masumin and one thousand believers on the Yom Al Qiyamah. <laughs> And with that being said, Sayyidna, we tell you to guess the shrine, guess hey. the place. So we're going to wait for the image to pop up on your screen. And then you're going to have to derive yeah. from the blurred picture whose shrine it is. Is it the shrine it's in Medina? It's on my screen. Sorry? It's on my screen. 30 seconds is on then. You know what? I'm not even going to read it out for you. Just give me the answer. Medina. For an extra point, who is it in Medina? Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Wa Ali, mashaAllah, he has the he has the love of the Al in his heart. Nara! Nari! Ali! 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 Right, we're at the Mercedes Sprinter van, which is Sha'Allah Sayyidna, you'll carry me in one day. Sha'Allah. Ya Allah. <laughs> forget Audi, forget BMW, whatever it might be, Sayyid, get yourself a van. Because we want to send CNG <laughs> service to the satellite. Exactly. Yeah. You, oh, I keep getting it wrong. <laughs> yeah. uh, All oh. right, the next question is Sayyidna. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Which Arab fighter engaged in combat and was defeated by Imam Ali during the Battle of Khaybar? Mm. Was it Walid bin Utba? Was it Al-Harith bin Zu'ma? Mm. Was it Marhab? Or was it Masood bin Umayyah? Allah. Which Arab fighter engaged in combat and was defeated by Imam Ali during the Battle of Khaybar? Sayyidna, if um, you want help, I can help you. If you want. No, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, he doesn't want to remove one. Yeah. Give me the answer. Okay. <laughs> Either three or two. Uh, three. Marhab. Three. Marhab. Marhab. Yes. Indeed, it was Marhab on Yom Khaybar that said, I am the one that my mother called me Marhab. So Imam Ali replied, and I am the one that my mother named me Haydara. Haydara. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Sayyid Muhammad Qasir, you are correct. For Marhab was the one defeated by the hands of the great Amir mm. Al Mu'mineen, the Amir of me, the Amir of you, Ali ibn Abi Talib. With that being said, Sayyidna, this question is guess the word. So again, I'm going to wait for it to pop up on your screen, and you need to tell me, you need to tell me what word it is. There you are. Just to let you uh, know. Yeah, it's on my screen. Okay, it's on your screen. Just to give you a guess, it is the saddest day on earth, but at the same time, it is one of my favorite Ashura. days on earth. Okay. Ashura. MashaAllah, Tabarak yes. Rahman. Are you sure? Let's look at it. Yeah, There's no need to say he's sure. He's, he is a Shia. He's a Sayyid. He's a Sayyid. That's his jiddu. <laughs> MashaAllah. Sayyidna, when Ashura comes, how do you feel? Saddened. MashaAllah. Saddened. It is as if the heart gets shattered on the day of the 10th. But what about the day of the 13th? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. 13th of what? Muharram? Oh, okay. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, sorry. Come on. I, just, sorry, I, I lost you for a second. Mate. <laughs> okay. Mullah Rashid, take it away. 
Ja, so dann helfe ich, Ladies and Gentlemen. Right! The spouse of the Prophet, aside from Khadija, mm. bore children for him. Was mm. it Zainab bint Jahsh? Mashallah. Was it Mari al Qatti? Mashallah. Was it Umm Salama? Mashallah. Was it Zainab bint Khuzayma? Mashallah. Your 30 seconds, ya Sayyidna al Aziz. Mari al Mari al Qatti. Yep, yep. Mari. That's the first time I've ever heard someone pronounce it like that. Mari. 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 Maria al Qibtiya, mashaAllah. Sayyidna, do you want to confirm that? Yes. Let's lock that in for you. And of course, Sayyidna, you are correct. Which means you are now going to be taken virtually to the gates of Mawla Hussein, yeah. the gates of mercy, the gates yeah, where our needs, our hawa'id are answered. Allah. For indeed, these are the best gates on earth second to none and indeed this is guess the image uh, not really guess the image but solve the puzzle solve the i must puzzle. say so it's a series of six images that you need to put in the correct order with that being said av team can we please put c at number one thank you very much habibi yeah. sayyidna let me know when it's on your screen because you have one minute to answer in the meantime mullah rashid how do you feel ecstatic wow Are you Phenomenal. nervous because this is the last question? Yani, I feel yeah, it's on, my, it's on my screen. Wow. Okay, perfect. <laughs> just disturb him, why right, don't you? Just disturb me, Sayyid. Why not? Why not? It's not like why he not? is the great Mullah Rashid himself. No, 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 no. If he lived <laughs> in uh, the time of Nabi Musa, B no. he would have been... Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, go on. Sorry. B6. B6? B6. Yes. Ah, okay. Come on. You have 35 seconds? A5. A5? 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 LD. Yes. 30 seconds? F4. F4? F4. Yeah, and then E3. 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 And we have our last. E2. D2. Yes. Ahmed Qasir, 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 Ahmed <laughs> Habibi, indeed you are Habibi. from the pure lineage all the way going back to Ahlul Bayt for today. You have won Habibi. a ring made out of your Jiddu shrine from Imam Hussein's shrine that we will deliver to your house. As well as that. Thank you very much. As well as <laughs> Don't lie to him. As, oh, Wallah. Say Wallah. We'll deliver to his house. Oh, fair enough. What, do you think a, a Torontonian has to come in to pick up the ring? Torontoni, we fly to we your fly house. To come on. <laughs> But other than that, saying that you will be put into a draw. If your name's picked out of that draw, you will go to Karbala free of charge Ewa. with a group. And uh, we'll give you some compensation to go for your flight. But okay. Sayyidna, just to say something that I love to repeat is that when you are put into hat into a raffle, it works off of? Probability. Probability, if you have not done maths yet, it, because you're 14, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you've done probability. It means that the more times that it's mentioned, the more times, the bigger the chance you have of winning. So if you scan the QR yes. code below, say, it, uh, Mullah Rashid's knees, yes, you right will there. see that it will take you to a website for you to donate an iftar pack, which is only 30 great British pounds. If you donate it, your name will be put into the draw not once, but twice. If you donate another one, it will be three. If you donate another one, it will be four. If you donate 100, it will be 101 because you won seven steps to heaven. So, if you really want to go to Kamala for free, donate an iftar pack yeah. in the name of Imam Mehdi. Viewers as Inshallah. well, you as well, if you are planning to call in, donate an iftar pack so that if you don't win, At least you know you are in that raffle. With that being said, Sayyidna, pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rajan. Pray for the AV team. Pray for Sayyid Murtada. Pray for Salman. Pray for Muhammad Fahad. Pray for Mustafa Saeed. Pray for all of us, please. Ma'a salama wa hafdahi. Fi ma'allah. Ma'a salama. Fi ma'allah. It's ala khair galwi. I think it's his bedtime. Too. Yeah, yeah. Do you <laughs> Six second video is on your screens. Stamp out poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. You are, are back. back. 
Mullah Rashid. Yes. Guess what? Hey. How many callers have we had today? Two. How many winners have we had? Two. MashaAllah. So wait, two callers, two winners. 100% success rate. MashaAllah. Next Tabarak caller, Rahman. don't let us turn out. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> 100% success rate. The same success rates of Imam Ali alayhi salam in every battle he was in. Uh. MashaAllah. So, yes. I wanted to know, you asked me about my iftar. Yes. But oh. I wanted to know, what did you have for iftar today? I know you're a man, you know, you like your food. Yes. You yes, know, he yes. has a very diverse palate, by yes, the way, for yes. those people that yes. think that. Yesterday, I had Pan-Asian. Yes. Today, I took it Western American style. Okay. Because my mother was invited, and then my sister was invited. So, all the people that can cook in my house were gone. Which means... Oh, okay. Which, which means... Uber Eats. Uber Eats <laughs> all Uber the way. Eats. Um, so we actually had a dish. Uh, we had burgers and wings. Yeah. And then we also had uh, some wraps, fries. You know, oh, we nice. went fully in. Nice, nice, And nice. it was American smash burger styles. Oh, yeah. Los Angeles, to be Los direct. Los Angeles. Los Angeles American smash How are you so sure burgers? it was Los Angeles? Because it said so. It said so. <laughs> on the website. So you just believed them. Yeah, it said Los Angeles style <laughs> smash burgers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly. If I say this is a Nigerian dish dash. I believe you, Mullah yeah. Rashid. Because you are from the wilaya of Amir al-Mu'mineen and you do not lie for the liars burn in the I've lowest said. pits of hell <laughs> and there is no saviour for them on the day of reckoning. that's a very nice iftar though I'm not gonna no, lie no. Honestly, sometimes you need to you know break it up a bit yeah because you know what rice and chicken every day is nice yeah, yeah. but then break it up have yeah. a uh, noodles chicken yeah. pan-Asian <laughs> by the way pan-Asian pan-Asian I'll just let you know yeah. pan-Asian might be the best cuisine on earth really either pan-Asian or Japanese Oh. An Asian or Japanese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Bro, ramen. Come on. I said oh, ramen. ramen. The broth. Oh! With that being said, <laughs> dear caller, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, your name and where you're calling from and your favorite cuisine. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. This is Shabir Isab and I'm calling from Durban, South Africa. MashaAllah. Oh, nice. Brother Shabir. I don't. I have not asked anyone this question, but I will ask you. What is your favorite cuisine? Uh, would I get ten points if I say Iraqi? Oof! <laughs> if you say Iraqi, we would not even let you go through the show. You have won. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, so it, it's definitely Asian. So it's include. It's a mixture of Chinese, Indian, Pakistani. Ah, that's oh, a no. bit of a cheat, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> then. Yeah, yeah. Because of course Asian wins yeah. the butter chicken of course. with some noodles. What did, what did we kill the other day? Oh, 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 oh. We'll tell the viewers later. We'll tell the yeah, viewers yeah, later. Yeah, we'll tell them later. With that said, Brother Shabir, we are going to throw you straight into the deep end, straight to step number one, straight at the gates of Imam Al Ali alayhi salam, the greatest of all Imams, only coming second to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> Brother Shabir, I ask you, Shimir bin Dhul Joshan, la'natullahi alayhi, fought alongside the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali alayhi salam, during the battle of Safin. Is that true or is that false? Uh, so he was one of the people who had a good life and ended up on the wrong side in Karbala. So I'm going to say it's true, inshallah. Bismillah wa billah. We see if you are true with Allah's asma and husna. He said true. He said true. He said true. He said true. Are you sure with 10 seconds left? Brother Shabir. Bismillah. 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 You are correct. Indeed, Shimar fought alongside the commander of the faithful but could not recognize the imam of his time and ended up killing him which means he will be in the lowest pit of jahannam for the rest of eternity and alhamdulillah for that Land with that being Land. said rashid take it away right question number two brother shabir is what did the prophet summon before his passing was it a cup of water Mashallah. was it help to pray Mashallah. Was it the Adhan Allahu Akbar. or was it a pen and paper? <laughs> what did the Prophet summon before his passing? 30 seconds on the clock, brother. Your time starts now. So this one we heard always and uh, 
سيد عمار confirmed it the other day in one of the episodes with the pen and the video. MashaAllah, he watches, he watches Imam Hussein TV. Thank you to the producer of Sayyid Ammar show for indeed you are the best producer. And thank you for the director for indeed you are the best director. Inshallah, that means I can get a pay rise. With that being said, <laughs> we lock in the answer. <laughs> we lock in the answer and indeed you are correct. Brother Shabir, indeed it was a pen and paper and unfortunately it was denied by the Ma'loon. The Ma'loon? Ma'loon, yeah, English. Yeah, that's Number two. The Mal'oon, sorry, I don't know why I said that. The Mal'oon, the second caliph of the Islamic Ummah, but not my caliph. With that being said, we take you to poll 1114, Imam Hussein TV Studios, inshallah, you can visit if you're on the walk. And it is guess the place, guess the shrine. So, Brother Shabir, I'm going to wait for it to pop up on your screen, and you need to tell me what shrine it is. Is it the holy shrine of Imam Ali? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Hussein? Is it the holy Kaaba in Mecca? Or is it the holy Masjid Al-Nabawi in Medina? Oh, so yeah, it's definitely I'm not the shrine of Imam Ali or Imam Hussein Ali. You know? Okay. Um, it's looking like between Mecca and Medina. Okay. But I think the other viewer in Medina, so I'm hoping I've got Mecca because oh. of all the minarets and so let's go Mecca, inshallah. Bismillah, Bismillah. Unless you want to remove Medina, I don't know. Are, are, are you sure? sure? Are you sure, brother? Inshallah. Are you one thousand percent sure? I'm not 1,000% sure. Do South Africans get help also? <laughs> wow, I tried tricking him, but brother Shabir, indeed, you are correct. For, we did not want to show the Kaaba, but of course that was yeah, the Holy Kaaba. Masjid Al... Haram. Thank you very much, Baba Shabir. Oh, he took to me? Yes. Sorry, I'm looking at the Oh, you were looking at the sprinter, hey, 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 I was admiring it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Because Baba Shabir... <laughs> Oh, take it away. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Right. So, okay. the next question, Brother Shabir. As we can tell you, Imam Hussein for TV fan. So, this one you should know also. Your next question is, who were the two presenters of the Shia voice in its first season? Was it Rashid Haider and Haider Kazaz? Was it Rashid Haider and Ali Fadl? Was it Ali Fadl and Ali Al-Hakim? Or was it Yasser, Mansour and Ali Father, who Allah were the two presenters of the Shia voice in its first season? Your 30 seconds to begin now. Brother Shabir, you're going to get this right because I can tell you. Why were you not in the first season? Okay, so that takes the two answers out. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking about Jujuz. Jujuz was not there the second time. Jujuz, Ali al -Hakim. So let's go Ali Fadil and Ali al -Hakim, inshallah. Do it. Bismillah. Bismillah. Let's we go. are going to remove one answer as well for you. Now, what, who did you say? <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's answer it then. Yeah, yeah. For okay. indeed, brother, Shed, Beer, all the way from South of Africa, you are correct. So, South Africa, like, I'm just literally South of Africa. Yeah. Okay. yeah, they couldn't find a better name. We just told you where the direction You know is. what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Simple is the best policy. And if policy. it's not broken, don't fix it. Oh anyway. my God. With that being said, Brother Shabir, we are going to wait for this word to pop up on your screen. You're going to have to tell me what word it is. And the AV team have given you one of the letters already. That A goes in the fourth position. Well, Arashid, do you know the word? Honestly, I'm really bad at these. Yeah, I'm yeah. honestly so bad at these. Do you know the word? With the, because the A is there. Before the A, I yeah. didn't know. Because the A is there, yes, I did. What could Sorry? this be? Uh, oh, I'm, it's on my the, screen has now. The, has so it popped up? Hard, right? has, it, has the word uh, popped up on the screen? Uh, yes, it has. 30 seconds. So this is, is a top. hard word. You shouldn't have cleaned it off. Huh? Ha. Huh. Okay. It's a, it's a place that we go. It's a, a traditional Iraqi word that we use. Somewhere that we go in Muharram, maybe. That we go in uh, Ramadan. Uh, well, Rashid, hmm. it's the seventh of Muharram. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to the. Ah, okay. Uh, Five, four. It starts with H. Five, four. Husainia, 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 Husainia. There is a hard one there. Sorry, Baba Shabir. No, no, he's just very happy. 
<تصفيق> ابي شبيه اي وونت يو تو نو ذات يو هاف ذا محب ذا حب ذا لاف اوف امير المؤمنين ان يور هارت اوف كورس يو جوينغ تو جيت ذيس رايت حق والله ما تصدق اوت واي اي واز لايك بليز ويف ذات بين سيف يا كوين ساوث افريكا ان ساوث افريكا وي دونت نورمالي سي حسين يا وي سي لايك امام بارغا او سي يا يو جوينغ تو ذا مجلس يا سو Yes, I know Sh- Sh- Baba Shabir. That's why I said a traditional Iraqi word. But with that being said, Thanks. Baba Shabir, your last question is here, and it is the supplication that we recite daily during the month of Ramadan is known as Dua Abu Hamza, Dua Iftitah, Dua Kumail, or Dua Tawassul. Thirty seconds on the clock. Because you're on the sixth step, Baba Shabir, we're going to have to be very strict with time. Okay, Bismillah. It's a uh, dua iftita. My friend Sajad's very uh, favorite dua. I asked him to enter. Also, he's from Tanzania. He must Masha dua Allah. iftita. Bismillah. Dua iftita. One of the best duas. One of the best openings. Allahumma. Ah ha ha. Allahumma inni iftitah fana bihamd. Allahu akbar. Allahu akbar. Allah. I think a dua Abu Hamza every night would. <laughs> dua Abu Hamza every night would, <laughs> that would kill. Smoke me. But, but yeah. to be honest with you, one of the best duas. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the best. Mm. Tell us why. There's a line in it where mm. the Imam lets us say, "Ya Allah, do not discipline me with your punishment." What a line! That's a bar. Wallah, do not discipline me. Don't make me learn my lesson no, 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 yeah. by punishing me. Do it a different yeah, yeah. way. Be nice. <laughs> That's a sick bar. With that being said, Brother Shabir, you're on your seventh step. Mullah Rash, take it away. Right, Brother Shabir, on your seventh step. Now, the final question is basically a puzzle. Mm. Um, a few pictures are jumbled and you have to put them in the right place. <laughs> Just to confirm, has that come up on your screen? Can you nah. see that on your screen? Me. Yes, it has, alhamdulillah. Perfect. So, the AV team have given you the first option, which is B1. Um, and you're going to have a minute to put these in the right place. So... Without further ado, go let's get straight it. into it. Let's go E6. E, uh, which one, sorry? D, uh, sorry, T, T6. D6, are you sure? No, T for Charlie. C6, sorry, C6, C6. ABT, my apologies. Then F5. 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 E2. E2. Yes. Okay, A3. A3, which leaves? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Then the last, so, A, so it's already hi- highlighted out, but D would go in four then, inshallah. Ya Allah, <sighs> brother Shabir. You know, I don't Brother Shabir, it's without saying congratulations. Well done. You Can you have please give him the two news? The two news. Yes. yes. The first news, Brother Shabir, is that you have won, which means that not only are you going to be gifted with a ring made from the marble of the shrine of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. But your no, name's also going to be put into a hat. Ma- where if your name gets taken out, it's going to be a free trip to go mm. to Ziyara to visit Abu Fadl Abbas, Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. And what an honor that is. An so, honor. first and foremost, congratulations. Well done. The second thing is if you can see down here, I can't reach down all the way, uh. but um, essentially it says donate today for a chance to win a trip to the Holy Karbala. Now, what this means is so basically. I did, I did last night. I did last night and I say that two entries are better than one. Wow. So Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And, uh, yeah. This is brother, a sign oh, okay. for all the viewers. Donate, donate, donate. Because now <laughs> Baba Shabir has not one chance, but two chances two chance. to, win the tri- to win the trip. Some of you have won just once. But now if we put maths into play, probability, Shabir has 2x more chance to win than other people that won once. With that being said, <laughs> brother Shabir, <laughs> we say free Muhalla to you and your family. Pray for me, pray for Mullah Rashid, pray for the AV team. 
pray for the families that are in need, in, in need of help in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in South Africa. And please keep us in your da'as. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Keep up the good work and uh, see you guys in Karbala, inshallah. Inshallah. Habibi, please inshallah. come and visit me. I would like to invite you for some Labbaik traditional ya, Iraqi food. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Abbas. Ya Allah. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Ali, that Ali. being said, Imam Hussein Charity brings you a video. 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 <laughs> video. Video. Stamp out poverty <laughs> with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, 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 that means finish. Oh, so yeah. have you never seen that? So you're a conductor, a sheikh, a presenter. No, so have you never seen that? So it's like no, keep but going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, no, but it's not like that. It's like a no. That that's go up. That no, go higher. No, I've seen Habibi. 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 Mullah. Don't mess with Rafi. my field. Please. <laughs> Mullah. Stay in your lane. <laughs> 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 Stay in your lane, and that's what I say to the next caller. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your name and where you're calling from. <laughs> wa alaikum assalam. My name is Muhammad Ali, Sayyid Muhammad Ali Shah. Oi. And yes, um, yes. that sounds like a tune. Yeah. And Hussein Muhammad Ali Shah. Yes. yes, and you're calling from? And, uh, England, Coventry. Coventry, did you say? Can you hear us? Yeah. Uh, what was the location again? Was it Coventry? Coventry. MashaAllah. One of the greatest places. The great Coventry. Great Coventry. They've got a really nice restaurant up there. Oh. I've been to. What is it? It's called uh, The Farmhouse. I've been to Farmhouse. Have you been to Farmhouse? Famous, yeah. Is it? It's very, very nice. I don't know. We, we also <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Habib. <laughs> Please forgive me. Habib. One would fight. Stay in your lane. <laughs> And if love me, and if love me, that being said, brother, Muhammad Ali Asghar Hussein Abbas Shah, I take you to the gate of Ali ibn Abi Talib, and I say, Ali Shah, Ali Ma, Ali Ma, Ali Ma, Min Allah, Ali Zanzalaya, 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 that question doesn't really make sense, maybe. Uh, AV you, team, uh, directors, that question doesn't make sense. You Musa got this. Man, known as the liar, discreetly asserted his profit. I think we should give it to him. Yeah, because to be honest with you, you get it. You get the question. English said no. Because who's his profit? Asserted, um, I need help. It's true. Um, you are correct. Well done! Wow. 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 Brother Muhammad, how did you know it's true? MashaAllah. Um, just a lucky guess, man. Wow, man. Brother Muhammad, Islamic knowledge in Coventry is large. You're just a king, that's all. MashaAllah. But there's Own only it. one true king, and that is Imam Ali, alayhi salam. Bismillah, Bismillah, Ya Ali, Ya Ali. Ya Ali. The second question is, Muhammad, which of these Urdu reciters serve as a judge on the Shia voice show? Ya Hussain. Is it Shahid Baltistani? Ya Muhammad. Is it Mir Hassan Mir? Ya Ali. Is it Nadim Sarwar or is it Misam Abbas? Ya which one of these Urdu reciters is currently a judge? It, it is number one. Number one, Misam Abbas. Yeah. He likes to lock that in. AV team, is he correct? With that being and said, he is correct. Mashallah, Muhammad, you are correct. Wow. Shout out to Mullah Mason Abbas. Yes. Big love from Imam Hussein TV3. We would like to see you again, Habibi.
With that being said, we Thank go you. to pole one 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 four four one 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 back way. And we take you to your gateway to Karbala, Imam Hussein TV3. This question, Baba Muhammad, I'm going to wait for it to pop up on your screen because it is called Guess the Place. Guess the shrine that you're going to have to guess today, and it indeed is a shrine in Iraq. Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Is it the holy shrine of Imam Hussein? Is it the holy shrine of Al Kavamain? Or is it the holy shrine of Al Askariyin? <laughs> Is it number four? Is it? I don't know. Do you want to confirm that and see if you're right or wrong? Yes. Do you think it's Askarian as well? Do I think it's Askarian? I want to know your answer before we lock in. What would you answer? You know my answer? Yeah. Uh, but, but, but Muhammad, are you sure it's Al, Al Askarian? Are you sure you think about it? Maybe, maybe it's not. I'm definitely. Uh... Definitely He's sure. definitely like, sure. Wow. Definitely He's definitely sure. sure then. How can you be definitely sure and still get it right? Allahu Masha Akbar. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Baba Muhammad, you got that right. We take you now away to the fourth step in your journey to Jannah. Salam and we see Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Bil Muslimin wal Muslimat, wal Mu'minin wal Mu'minat. Baba Muhammad, I ask you. Which Quranic verse mentions the guardianship, the wilaya of Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib? Is it 555? Five, five, five. Is it 53? Is it 5 3? Or is it 15 41? Wow. <laughs> What's 15? 15. Is it number two? I okay, think. Brother Muhammad, I'm going to remove one of the uh, options. I've right. removed 33, 33. Now you have options one, three, and four. Ten seconds to answer. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, one. three. One. Number one? One. Yeah. Bismillah wa billah. al husna wa alif lam mim. <laughs> Bismillah wa billah, Mullah Rashid, take it away. Uh, oh, Brother Muhammad. Um, a ghoul here? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately, Brother Muhammad. You got Muhammad, this incorrect. You got this incorrect. For verse 5 3 is, the, is ah. Surah Al Ma'idah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the last ayah to ever be sent down, which is. Today I have perfected for your for you the religion of Islam. Mm. And he perfected it with the wilaya of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. So unfortunately, Brother Muhammad, he did not get it right today. But Mullah Rashid, tell him the two things he can do. Yes. The first thing, Brother Muhammad, that you can do is uh, right below here. Uh, it should can we up. take out the CG of IHC? Yep, there you go. Um, there's a QR code on your screen. Essentially what you can do, you can scan that QR code and it takes you to the IHC app. You make a donation and that counts as an entry to the final, basically, uh, bowl, if you want to call it, where you have the chance to go to Ziara. So if you make a donation, you still have a chance of actually making that raffle and getting your name picked out to go to Ziara. That's the first thing. The second thing is that we are on four times a week. What other days? Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. That's it. We are on four times a week, Muhammad, which means that you can call again. You can call again. Um, and I really want you to call again because I really liked you and I think you're someone that definitely can win. So please give us a call. Also make a donation. Um, and inshallah, inshallah, we'll see you again very soon, Muhammad. Thank you so much. Um, take care. Thank and inshallah, we'll see you With again very soon. With that being said to all the viewers, donate, 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 donate. For Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his last sermon in Shah Ramadan, he said the best of acts to do in this shahar is to help the orphans. And what better way to help an orphan than breaking his fast? For indeed, some of these orphans don't even have bread, wheat, flour, or even clean drinking water to break their fast. So what's better way to break their fast than donating and helping an orphan in Shahar Ramadan? With that being said, six second clip of IHC on your screens. 
Stamp Out Poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Imam Hussein Charity. Uh, Imam Hussein. Okay. <laughs> Imam Hussein TV3. Seven steps to heaven. Seven steps to heaven. Sorry, I'm so indulged in for people to donate. But with that being said, the next caller is ready. Yeah. So I say to the next caller that they don't even know they're on. And I say to them, Assalamu alaikum, dear caller, your name and where you're calling from, please. Assalamu alaikum, my name's Fatima and I'm calling from Scotland. Scotland. Fatima from Scotland. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder who this caller is. Mashallah, Sister Fatima. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Alhamdulillah. How's <laughs> Scotland? Everything okay over there? Alhamdulillah, it's really good. Mashallah. It's cold Mashallah. As always. How's your fasting going? Everything fine with you? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Mashallah. How are you? And how's Mullah Rashid? Oh, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Very well. <laughs> very well. Thank you. Uh, very well, thank you. How is, uh, I don't know, how's your fasts? How's Ramadan going for you? It's going really well. Alhamdulillah, I can't complain. Alhamdulillah. 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 Well, I want to say thank you for calling in today, Sister Fatima. Um, and I also want to tell you that may Allah be with you, for I know you, in your heart you yearn to go to Karbala. So, inshallah, you win today. Inshallah. Bismillah. So, I ask you your first question, which is a true or false? And it is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alif Lam Neem Thalik al-Kitab La Rayba Fee It's a bit delayed on um, YouTube that Yeah, that's fine. fine That's okay, Sister Fatima <laughs> If you can just listen to either my voice Or the beautiful, majestic voice of Mullah Rashid Inshallah, you can answer over the phone With that being said, your first question is Is it permissible to consume an egg Found in the stomach of a chicken that has died? That's a very sick... <laughs> AV thing. team are getting creative. Well, <laughs> so, big shout out to Ahkam SOS because if you watch it every single day on Imam Hussain TV3, you would know the answer to these fi fiqhi questions because we don't answer it for only one marja, but we answer it for all the marja in this world and the hereafter. With that being said, Sister Fatima, we have 10 seconds left. What's your answer? Um, Both. False with a question mark at the end. Let's see if that is correct. <laughs> Maybe it's not false. Maybe it's true, Sister Fatma. Are you going to help me out? Maybe it's true. Do you want to change your answer to true? Maybe. Uh, okay, it's true. It's true. I think it's true. Okay, I don't you think know why it's true. Let's see if it's true. Let's see. Unfortunately, Sister Fatma, you are incorrect. For it was false, and I have. Sister thank you so much for calling in today. Inshallah, you can call in another day. Scotland may have peace with you. Fima Lau Hafrihi. I'm joking. <laughs> Sister Fatwa, indeed, you have passed. We now go on to your second question. MashaAllah, you thought you knew it was true with no help, MashaAllah. It seems yeah, like you've been watching at Kam SOS every day at 8 30. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Mullah Rasha, take it on to the second question now, Sister Fatima, which is, who was the distinguished Arabic reciter who served as the guest for the season two finale? Was it Ali Muhammad? Mm. Was it Muhammad Bajabara? May Allah lengthen his Was life. it his younger brother, Daniel Bajabara? May Allah lengthen his life. Or was it the one who we've all grown up listening to? The king himself. The one who... He lightens up my heart my whenever I hear him. Ya the one who, wherever I see him, Noor, ya Hussein, ya comes Hussein. out of his face. It, it's Muhammad Bujbara. Let me ask you, sister, yeah. before we confirm that, were you at the season two finale? I was, yes. Yeah. MashaAllah. Yes. This is to all the viewers that indeed, when there are shows like Shia Voice, come in, exactly. show your support. Come in. And you know the answers to questions like this. Exactly. So we want you all to be ready. Please, yes. please. So follow Shia Voices socials. Stay for the updates, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Yeah, With that being Alameen. said, let's lock in Muhammad Bujbara. And indeed, you are right. For who is fit better? 
to invite Muhammad Bujbara to recite other than being on the best TV show to ever be made, yes. the Shia voice. Inshallah, the pay rise is incoming. Ya, ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. <laughs> so that inshallah, Sayyid Yasser can treat us to more dinners, inshallah. Ya 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 With that being said, sister Fatima, we tell you to guess the place. This place that I'm going to ask you to guess, I know you have been to. I know you have been to. Is it Masjid al Sahla? Is it Masjid Jam Karan? Is it Shah Abdul Aziz? Uh, uh, Shah Abdul Aziz's shrine or Masjid right, Al Kufa? It's all right, take your time. Do you know the answer to this one, Mullah? This is quite a very interesting one. Uh, you, you remember the last time, and then when you saw it, you were like, yes. Okay, it's not on the screen yet, so I need to. Oh, it's not on yeah, the screen, no so let's remove the timer, please, boys. All right, let me know what's on your screen, Sister Fatima. Okay. Is it on your screen now? It's no on my screen, yeah. Bismillah. Uh, you know this place. I know you know it. It's, um... You know it. Go with the gut feeling. um... Number three? Number three? With the question Masjid mark? Masjid al Kufa. Masjid al Kufa. Let's lock that in for you, Sister Fatima. And unfortunately, again, you, are, you gave me the answer that is incorrect. But because... We are so kind-hearted. <laughs> I'm joking. You got it right. <laughs> Let's unblur the picture. For indeed, that is the great uh -huh. Masjid al-Kufa. Yes, 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 yes. The great Masjid where many, 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 many great catastrophic things happen. Kata who? Catastrophic. Catastrophic. Yeah. <laughs> I make up my own words. <laughs> you have a problem? It's fine. Yes. I'm really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thank a general problem. I know the real world. <laughs> the real world is? Catastrophic. Right, <laughs> shout out to the Mercedes Sprinter once again, inshallah ta'ala. On ya to the next question, Sister Fatima, which is which Quranic verse discusses the infallibility and purity ya of Muhammad. the Ahlul Bayt, the Prophet's the household? Prophet's is it? household, the great household. Ascent. Is it option number 13333? 33 to the 33. E? Or is it 53? Mm. Or is it 1541? Or is it 555? Okay. Haven't seen this many numbers since GCSEs. <laughs> <laughs> Which um, I think it might be 3332. Which one, sorry? 3333. 3333. Are you I sure? Think. Um, Sister Fatwa, are you sure with that? 100%? No. You're not oh, sure? no, no, no. Um, oh, maybe... No. 555? You have to pick. Yeah, Is yeah. 33, 33 okay. or 555? Okay. People for 555. Ah, oh, just so we, I'm saying. <laughs> 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 we're going to ruin the kill. We're going to ruin the streak. Eh? Lana, we're going to ru ruin the streak. <laughs> just load it, bro. Masha. Masha Allah, Sister Fatima, you got it right. Indeed, it is 33, 33. 33. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intends to Can purify. Get the Arabic, please? Say that Me give the Arabic? Yes, please. Nah, please. Nah. Are you getting me to try? In the ma. In the ma. Allah. Li yudhibah. Li Ankum al rijsa. Ahlul bayt. Wi tahirakum. With that being said, Aruj, uh, Sister Fatima, I man, sorry. <laughs> Guess the word. The word's going to pop up on your screen. Please tell me when it does pop up on your screen. We have given you the hardest word yeah. yet. I was uh, nearly <laughs> filling the top. <laughs> Sister Fatima, unfortunately, I can't help you, so you're going to have to guess this word. Yeah. But the team has been so nice to give you one of the letters. Yeah, I have the 150 <laughs> ones there. So Please let me know when you see the word, because you'll have 30 seconds. Do you oh, know the word? Okay. I haven't got a clue, bro. If I'm not mistaken, I know it. What is it? Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. That's just taking the Yeah, yeah, this is That's sick. That's taking the Okay, give me a second. Sister Fatima, I'm going to give you a hint. It's wait, I know, I know, I know, I know. Is the Zir Kum? Allah, okay. Akbar. the Scotlandies are smart. Scotlandies, the Scotlandies, it's because they go to uni for free, so they're happy. Do they? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. No way, sister Fatima. Please confirm do uh, uh, Scotlandies go to uni for free? Yeah, we do. You see that. 
So they're happy when they go to uni. <laughs> and I'm, I was born with brains, so I knew that worked. No, 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 mashallah. Yeah, no. You, are very you don't smart, pay money Fatima. every year to study. <laughs> ya Rabbil Alameen, with that being said, Sister Fatima, I ask you your fifth question, which is, what is the honorary title of Imam Hassan alayhi salam karihi? Is it Abu al Ab Ab Qasim? Said? Is it Aba Abdullah? Is it Abu Muhammad? Or is it Aba Ja'far? Ja'far. What is the honorary title of Imam al Hassan? I think you should know this, sister. Because it's you remember the great Abu name. Muhammad? Is it what? Sorry? Abu Muhammad? Abu Muhammad for Imam Hassan. Oh, okay. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah think yeah. about this one. Yeah, Please yeah, yeah. Think okay, about it. I'm 10 sure. seconds left. <laughs> Let's lock that in for Sister Fatma. It's not, it's not, it's Abu Jafar. It's Abu Jafar! <laughs> Sister Fatma, it came have on faith. It came on the screen a bit later, that's Sister, what I had Sister to. Sister Fatma, have faith in yourself because indeed it is Abu Muhammad. Have faith? It's no, not Abu Jafar. You're stitching people up today. Yeah, one more. <laughs> you're so you lucky. <laughs> yeah. Sister Fatma, I must say you're very lucky because you changed your answer <laughs> after the time. If it was before the time, I would have had to take Abu Jafar but, and but, you would have been removed. It, from the show. But mashallah, you are lucky because you have the love of Abu Muhammad Imam Hassan Allahu Akbar. in your heart. Haq! Haq! Allah, give me more energy. Haq! Mama Rasha, take it away. Right, on to the, the set third? Set. 17. Allah. The, the seventh. <laughs> the seventh and final <laughs> step, which is, which is essentially a puzzle. And you have to match the letters to the numbers. MashaAllah, really? Yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. So, wow. seven. Oh, okay, your English is actually just not, not yeah, working. Yeah, it's it. fun. Go right. On. So, Sister Fatima, just to confirm, has that come up on your screen? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <Has> okay, <laughs> like Sister Fatima, has the image come up on your screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. MashaAllah, yeah. one minute on the clock. May Allah be with you, but I think you're going to lose this one, Sister Fatima. I don't think you're good at puzzles. Sorry? No, no, A. Wait, wait, A5. wait, A5. A5. Yeah, E6. 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 So, someone's helping in the back. I hear someone C4. helping. Yeah. Someone, by the way, is... C4. C4. D4. D4. Uh, uh, B4, sorry. No. C4. C4. Yes, yeah, I've done it. C4. Uh -oh. B2. 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 F3. F3. Okay, and is it done now? Because on my screen it's a bit late, so I think it's a bit late. Well, sister, Fatima, it seems like you are correct, Master Allah. With that being said, you're back in Sister Fatima calling in all the way from Scotland, the most precious country in the United Kingdom. I want to send to you my salams and tell you, Sister Fatima, that you have won seven steps to Jannah, i.e. seven steps to heaven, i.e. seven steps to Karbala, which means you will win a beautiful ring made out of the marble of the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and your name will be put into a drawer. With that being said, Sister Fatima, if you look below me, there is a beautiful QR code that if you scan and donate an iftar pack, which is 30 great British pounds, which is, I don't know how much in great British, uh, great Scottish Great pounds. British Scotlandies. I don't know how much it is, the currency exchange, but... Sister Fatima, if you donate, your name will not be put once but twice into the draw. I don't know if you passed maths, but if you did, probability, which means if your <laughs> name is into the draw more than once, you have a bigger chance of winning. With that being said, thank you so much for calling Sister Fatima. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the AV team. Pray for the impoverished families in, in Iraq and all around the world that need our help. And inshallah, you can be the helper. With that being said, thank you so much for calling. Fima Allah, Khuda Hafiz, Ma'as Salama, Guru Guru, Buru Buru. With that being said, with that being said, Seven Steps to Heaven will show you a quick video from Imam Hussein Charity. Bear with us. 
Stamp Out Poverty with Imam Hussein Charity in Karbala and beyond. With that being said, <laughs> Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi We show you beautiful videos from the great work of Imam Hussein Charity for they are the best charity in the world. Donate now for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that donating in Shahr Ramadan is the one of the best acts to do. For this is the Shahr that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us to live in. For our breathing is, uh, thank you very much to the directors for giving me water. Salaamullah ala al-Hussein for he died thirsty. Carrying on with what I said, for in this Shahr, Breathing is what is worship. Sleeping, worship. When you do your acts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts them. When you supplicate to him, Allah answers them with the good near. So with that being said, I say, Assalamu alaikum, they call on your name and where you're calling from. Assalamu alaikum, yeah, I'm six years old and I'm calling from Australia. MashaAllah, oh, yes, 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 Australia. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Could you just confirm again your name and how old you are? Uh, my name is Mudabil and I am six years old. Six years old, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. 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 Incredible. How was, have you, have you had iftar yet? Are you? I think they're fasting now. Are you fasting? They're head behind. They're head. Next month. Next month? Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, they're still uh, fasting. What time is it for you right now, Habibi? 11.20. In the morning? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> they're literally midday. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro, Australia's sighted us, man. Wallah. <laughs> Mashallah. Have you been watching um, Seven Steps to Heaven, by the way? Just wanted to know if you've been watching the show. You know how it works. My My parents have. Nice, wow. nice, nice. So I'm going to run you through basically how it works. Um, and then inshallah, we can go straight into it. So basically what's going to happen is you have seven questions. And it's a mix of some questions. Guess the place where you see a blurry picture and you guess it. Guess the word. You're going to have a jumbled word. Put it in the right place. Um, a puzzle. We have to again put it in the right place. And a true or false. So it's as simple as that. And we're going to help you. I want you to win. So... Let's get straight into it. Are you ready? Yes. Perfect. Let's do it. So, your first question is, it is permissible to consume the milk found in the udder of a camel that has died? So, are you basically allowed to drink the milk which is found in the udder of a camel that's died? Is that true? Maybe is that mommy false? and dad can help yeah. you. Mom and dad... Phones. Okay. Are you are you sure? Listen to my tone. Are you yes. sure? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, so you want to change it to true? You want it to be true? Well done. Mashallah. Mashallah. Bro, season three, you're getting your own your own <laughs> little gig. <laughs> With that being said, Bava Ahsen? Abhas? What's, uh, Bava Ahsen? Ahsen? Ahsen, right? Is that right? Bava Ahsen? Yes. Oh, it seems like you are unsure, but we'll move on. <laughs> Bava Ahsen, mashallah, you knew it was true. Um, with that being said, your second question will be asked by moi. And I ask you, who authored two of our four main Shia reference books, namely Tadhib al Hakam and Al Istibsar. Is it Sayyid Sistani? <laughs> is it Shahid al Thani? Is it Sheikh al Tusi? Or is it Sharif al Radi? May Allah bless every name I just said. Bavam Ahsan, if you like, I can remove. Say that again. Sheikh Tosi. Sheikh Al Tosi. Okay. With that, yes. okay, you said Sheikh Al Tosi. Tell me why you said Sheikh Al Tosi. Yeah. 
My daddy helped me. <laughs> ah, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. With that being said, dad helped him. That's it. Daddy helped, that's and it. guess what? Daddy was right. Yes. For Ahsan, you got that correct. Indeed, it was Sheikh Atusi. May Allah bless him and higher no. elevate his maqam. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. For he ensured the message of the Ahlul Bayt was safe. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, take it away. Right. So, Ahsan, this is one of those ones where I told you earlier where it's guess the place. You're, you're getting a blurry picture now um, as soon as that comes up on your screen. Nah. And you have four options. Four. Okay. So, once again, I think Dad in the back here is going to sort you out. <laughs> but you have four options. Uh, Just to confirm, has that come up on your screen now? No. No? Okay. okay we'll no wait. worries. We'll wait. We'll How's wait. Ramadan been for you? They're already discussing. <laughs> option number four. <laughs> no, that, that wasn't an actual answer, by the way. Huh? Where did Makan have it? Right. Ahsan, has that come up on your screen yet? No, it hasn't. Still. Oh, the image hasn't popped up on the screen, by the way, AVT. Please let me know when it has popped up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Baba Ahsan, has it popped okay. up on the screen now? Yes. Okay, let's put the 30 second timer on. Okay, so think of the image. Let mom and baba help you. Let them take a guess. Is it Masjid Sahla? Maybe it's the maqam of Imam Sadiq. Maybe it's the maqam of Imam Al Mahdi. <laughs> or is it Masjid Al Jam? Okay. You have five seconds, you need to give me an answer. Four, three, two, one. What? What? Jamkara. Jamkara. Masjid Jamkara. Masjid Jamkara. With that being Jam said, let's lock that in. Let's show the image. Uh, Unfortunately, brother, brother, uh, brother, 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 brother. Ahsan, you are incorrect. For this is an image that was taken in Karbala, if I'm not mistaken, on a street known as Bab Baghdad, where it's the maqam of Imam Al Mahdi, where Imam Mahdi stopped and prayed a Turak Asalah. So, unfortunately, my brother, my dear brother Ahsan, all the way from Australia, unfortunately, did not win today. But. Let me tell you what you can do and let me tell you what mummy and daddy can do to ensure for you to win. Mullah Rashid, take it away. What can yes. you do? So, Ahsan, what you can do is very simple, okay? We are on four times a week, yeah? We're on... on four? Yeah. So four Monday? Wednesday, Friday, Friday, and Saturday. Oh. Okay. So we're on four times a week, Ahsan. Okay. So I want you, I really, really, really want you to call me back. Okay, I want you to call us back and we do the exact same thing again. And you can do that as many times as you want in a way the chance to win. Okay, so yes, yeah, I was copying what I'm doing. But um, please do call in because you can call in and you can once again win. The second thing that mom and dad can do is that down here, if you can see, there is a QR code. What you can do, what mom can do is scan the QR code. Okay, and you make a donation. If you make a donation today, okay, that's one extra entry into the competition so can you only donate once no you can donate as many times as you want with that being said thank you so much brother Ahsan, for calling in and we go straight to the next caller oh, because we in. want so many callers today one in a row i say to you <laughs> assalamu alaikum day caller your name and where you're calling from assalamu alaikum day caller your name and where you're calling from uh, Hussein uh, from Northwest London. My brother, oh, yes. part of the he man said that busy. With he said that with conviction. Like, how do you not know I'm from Habibi, Northwest? brother Hussein, you're from my area, from my bit, so I'm going to take care of you. But before <laughs> I say anything, What's what did you have for iftar ah. today? Uh, I had uh, biryani okay. for iftar. Okay. The Iraqi biryani, Pakistani biryani? Uh, Indian biryani. Indian biryani, the best biryani. MashaAllah. Yeah. yeah. You know? hmm? I've had Afghanistan biryani. It was beautiful. Afghanistan biryani. Have you ever had it? They give it to you with lamb Thank ribs. You. 
<laughs> ribs. For no, the biryani. I... <laughs> Don't even ask. I, j- That's I know what we're going tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, brother Habibi Hussein. We're going to go straight in because we don't have much time and I want to ensure that you have a fair chance to win and get to Ker Bela. I'm going to ask you the first question, which is a true or false. With that being said, Elif Lamim. When Prophet Adam descended to earth, he landed on Mount Safa. Is that true or false? When Nabi Adam descended to earth, when he arrived on this beautiful place, what did he land on Mount Safa? Maybe Mama and Baba can help you, your brother, your sister, your cousin, maybe your granddad. You never know. Maybe you have never been here. Is that true or false? Will the Russians know the answer? 100 Yeah. It's true. It's true. Baba Muhammad, are you sure? Well, we've run out yes. of time. And indeed, you are right. Masha Allah Tabarak Ar Rahman. He deserves a hack. Hack! MashaAllah, the Qaf is really. <laughs> Bro, by the way, Qaf is my favorite letter. Really? Wallah. You know, whenever I read the Quran. Have you ever heard him read Qulullah Ahad? Anyway, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Who served? Qullah. <laughs> Qullah. <laughs> 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 right. Ha ha fu. I <laughs> think that we're, we're all just really ill right now. <laughs> right, Hussein, next question is Who served as the messenger of Imam Hussein to the city of Kufa? Was it Abdullah bin Ja'far? MashaAllah. Was it Muhammad bin Hanafi? Al Hanafi. Was it Muslim bin Aqil? Or was it Al Hur bin Yazid al Riyahi? It was Ibn Aqil. Ibn Aqil. Muslim Ibn Aqil. Muslim Ibn Aqil. Oh, bro, I'm not fighting you. Look bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Bro, I'm. Well, Fred, we want to help North you. Northwest London, bro. North East West. London, no one's going to shout me like this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you want to lock it in? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let's lock yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah, Bismillah wa billah. Bismillah wa billah. Don't, don't, don't miss Elif, lam, meem, dhalik al-kitab. La, raibah, fi. Hudan. Lil-taqib. Next, we are at the beautiful banner that says your gateway to Karbala. For indeed, what gateway is there better than the Imam Hussein TV3? We ask you, guess the place, which is you have to look at the image and guess what mosque, what masjid, what shrine this is. Please look at the image. Please look at the image. Please look at the image when it's on your screen and tell me the right answer. Gosh. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Is it on your screen now, Brother Hussein? Y- yes. Yes. 30 seconds on the clock. Is it the Holy Shrine of Hassan Abbas, the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein, the Holy Masjid of Jamkaran, or the Holy Shrine of Fatima Ma'suma, the sister of Imam al Raza, the daughter of Imam al Kadhim, the granddaughter of Imam al Jafar al Sadiq, the great granddaughter of Imam. Uh, Maksuma, Hadrat, Maksuma, Let's lock that in. And indeed, brother, I say, I can tell you right here, right now, in one second, that you are correct. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Allah. May Allah rizukna. May Allah grant us the visitation Inshallah. of Azad For indeed, there's a hadith that I read that said, visiting... The shrine of Sayyidah Ma'suma is as if visiting the shrine of Fatima al Zahra. Ya Allah. Salam Allah alayha. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ilahi. Right. So, on to the next question. Hussein, moving. Quick, quick, quick. Right, quick. right, 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 right. Sorry, 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 sorry. When is fasting prohibited? Haram. Is it on Fridays, during Rajab, during Hajj, or Eid al Fitr, and Eid al Abha? Hussein, you see the options on the screen. You've heard the question. When is it haram to fast, Hussein? Is it during Hajj, during Rajab, Fridays, or during Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha? Quick, 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 quick. You know the answer. Come on. You have, 30, you have 30 seconds now, one in five. Number four. Let's lock it in. Let's Number lock four. We have no four. time. Lock it, in. lock it in. Lock it in. You're correct. You're correct. We're going to move on to the next step. You're correct. You're correct. Next step. Now onto the fifth. Now onto the fifth. Now onto the fifth. Now onto the fifth. 
Now onto the fifth. Brother Hussein, no pressure. I have belief in you because you love Imam Al Hussein and you are named after him. Ya Rabbil Alameen, or Zukana Shafa'at Al Hussein. Honestly, With I, that. I, I will never get these. <laughs> Guess the word, Brother Hussein. I'm going to wait for the word to pop up on the screen. You have 30 seconds to tell me the word. I would like to tell you that the letter U is on the fourth position. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with you. How do you not know that, bro? I, I, these are really bad. Honestly, I have no, no clue. <laughs> nah. I have no clue. Indeed, indeed, this word. Ahl al Yes, Ahl al Bayt, you're uh -huh. correct. Let's go. Next one, mashallah. Next. 40 mashallah. Next one, mashallah. Ahl al Bayt. Next one, mashallah. Hey, next one, mashallah. Hey. Next one, mashallah. Alif, Alif. You know the clips are going to get made of us, it's going to be nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to the question number six. Number six to the seventh to the eighth. One to the two to the three to the four. We're on the six and I ask you, <laughs> why was a ceasefire negotiated with Muawiyah by Imam al Hassan? Is it because it was a will from Imam Ali? Was it the Bazayantes asked for it? Is it to avoid further civil wars and protect Muslim blood? Or was there no ceasefire to even begin with? Come on, Brother Hussein, I believe in you. Why did Imam Hassan do a ceasefire with Muawiyah? Is it to avoid further civil wars and protect Muslim blood? Was it a will that was passed down from Imam Ali? Was it because there was no ceasefire to begin with and you me? Or is it because the Bazayantins asked for it? <laughs> the Bazayantines. Who is it, bro? Who is it? To avoid, to avoid number three. Number three, let's lock it in. Number three. Indeed, you are correct. Go, the TV tech. No, 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 it's me. No. We have two minutes. Right. We have two minutes. <laughs> Brother Hussein, you have two minutes. What if we cut off and you don't see me anymore, follow just me. Know, on, on just know you have still one. <laughs> yes. Bismillah. Get a ring. Can we speed up the AV? Come on. Ya Rabbi Hussein. Baba, right. tell me when the image is on your screen. Please, 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 to the please, please, please. Please, 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 with the please, please, please. Please, please, please. Yes, please, no, please. it's on my screen. Right. It's on your screen. F1, MashaAllah. F1. I'm giving you a hint. F1. Go. One Mashallah. minute on the clock. What's come the on. next one? D come on, come on. D number six. La, 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 no. D six, D six. D, 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 D six. six. I mean, D, I was saying. D, I said. Yes. Hella next. No one's losing this, bro. This guy's not losing. 40 seconds. 40 seconds. A. E is number five. E five. Oh, no, I mean A five, sorry. A five, I A five, yes. A five. A five, A five, uh huh. Then E. <clears throat> Uh, 20 e seconds. is uh, four. 20 seconds, E4. Uh, and um, C is uh, three and B is two. C3, B2. With that said, MashaAllah, I will confirm to you now. Baba Hussein, you have one. MashaAllah, 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 MashaAllah. <laughs> Okay. With that being said, Baba Hussein, Al Hussein, Al Hussein. I would like to congratulate you. You have one, you will receive a ring made out of the shrine of Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, and your name will be put into a draw. If you want a better chance to win, donate to Imam Hussein Charity. Donate in the star pack, it's only £30. The more you donate, the more times we'll put your name into the raffle, and you have more of a chance to win. Thank you so much for calling. May Allah bless you. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. Pray for the whole Mu'mineen. Fima Allah Khudafis. Mullah Rashid. Yes. How do you feel that we've had not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven? I don't know how many people but want. Three winners. But a lot of Alhamdulillah. Winners. Very well. Very well. Very well. Um, it's incredible. Guys, please call in. Just call in. Call in. It's call in. Call in. Anyways, this has been 7 Step 7, the best TV show ever made. Donate to Imam Hussein TV. Donate. 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 Donate to Imam Hussein Charity. Help the orphans. I've been your host. I go by the name of Yasser Helfi. This has been Mullah Rashid Haidar. We've been Seven Steps to Heaven on the Mark Saint TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Join us again on Monday night. Fima Allah Khadafis. Ma'as Salama. Seven Steps. Seven Steps.